Okay, so you could see the pixelation on it before you even uh, try to print it. Like you could see the mess around it. So uh, for this, it's pretty um, simple. You can just trace it. Um, if you come over here to the right hand panel, you click on the thing that looks like a butterfly, you get select trace area. You select the whole thing and you get it to turn yellow kind of how you want it. It looks like there might be some spots that's kind of missed there so I'm going to adjust the threshold just a little bit. No, not that much though. Just kind of tweak the yellow and then hit trace and it should give you a pretty close. See I probably needed to adjust the yellow more but you could tweak that. See if you get up really close you can see that there's some kind of dots there. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna hit undo. And we're gonna zoom in so I can see it a little bit better. So if you adjust the threshold, let's do it like that. Try that. So hit trace again. Now you can actually see the outline in here. If I click on it and I come over here to outline, and change it to like yellow, it might be a little easier to see. Come on, let me, there we go. It outlined the picture, but you can see the outline in there. So, um, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna take that outline off of the picture. Okay, so then if you zoom out, you have two different things now. There's, here, let's go back here. Turn that outline to like blue, so you can see it. So if you move this over, here's your image, and over here is your shape. Now if you wanted, you could just fill that in and just print that. Um, but if you have like a little bit more of a detailed image and you just want to crop the outside edge off of it or something, it's the same concept you'd use. So you get the shape and the trace in there and you select both. So the you want to make sure that your shape is on top, and I'm pretty sure it is by default. Let me see here. Come on. There we go. Send to back. Yeah, so if it wasn't on top. Yeah, okay. It didn't have a transparent background, so I should have known that. But um, So it's already on top. So as long as the shape is on top of the image, I'm hitting undo to try to go back to where it's lined up perfectly. You select both. And then you come over here to, okay, come on, cursor, pick up and tell me what that's called. Transform, modify, modify panel. Um, and then you hit crop. It crops it out. So the only thing it's keeping is what overlaps with the path. So now if you look at it up close, all that noise is gone. Now it's still not that great and it's not ideal to use something that that's that is that pixelated. So I normally just recommend that people go get a new file. Um, a lot of them you just grab off of Google Images are just small resolution. And I could say real quick, if you are doing a Google image search, now you have to be careful because things are copyrighted here. But if you go in and you hit images and then you go to tools, you can click on size and hit large and it's going to get rid of all the really tiny ones for you. Now it's also nice to hit usage right, rights and hit labeled for reuse, you know, one of these options so that you're not using something that's owned by someone, like it's something that's labeled for reuse. Um, you know, like if, if I, by filtering that, in theory, these are all okay to use, but it's still not necessarily safe um, to just grab one. You really need to go click on the image and see where it's coming from to make sure it's legal to use. But um, if you're just using something off of Google, at least search for it by large so you're getting a bigger image size. But anyway, that's how you would crop it to get rid of that noise out of the background there like that.